safe. He'll look like a hero because he's one of the first to try it. Millions of people line up to get it. And boom! Microchip implants for all of you. Everything you've done to me, I've already done to you. Welcome to Daytime Tea Time. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candice. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload. All right, y'all, happy Friday. We got a few things to talk about. We got Megan Thee Stallion, we got Rihanna, Wendy Williams again, and Nicki Minaj. Of course, we are gonna talk about Donald Trump, talking about he got that Rona. No triggering words over here, okay? We not gonna say Donald Trump, and we not gonna say coronavirus, but y'all know what we talking about. We gonna talk about a few things, but before we get into any of that, we have to shout out my sponsor for this video, which is adamandeve.com. Check this out. This video is sponsored by adamandeve.com, which is America's number one adult toy superstore. And let me tell y'all something, this is definitely a superstore, offering more than just adult toys. They have lingerie, massage oil, sexy bedroom games, I mean everything. Everything for you and your partner, or you by yourself, to have the most romantic, loving, and fun times. So head on over to adamandeve.com and see what you like. And make sure when you check out, you use my code TEATIME. And you will receive 50% off of one item plus free shipping to the US and Canada. Some exclusions may apply. AdamandEve.com for her, for him, for all couples. Enjoy! Shout out to AdamandEve.com for sponsoring this video. I'm not playing around, y'all. Go get what you need. Get nasty. Because Adam and Eve was definitely trying to make sure I got nasty for my 30th birthday, y'all. They sent me a box full of stuff. AdamandEve.com was really trying to make sure I had a good 30th birthday, y'all. It was an overwhelming box. It was. And I liked it, y'all. I liked it. Thank you, Adam and Eve, for the birthday gift. Anyway, it's none of y'all business. But get what y'all need. Use my code T-Time, 50% off. But anyways, y'all, okay, so let's move forward. Y'all know we got to start real quick and talk about Donald Trump and his Rona. I could care less how many of y'all support him, okay? This is not about convincing y'all not to support him. Y'all support him, that is what it is. But for me, it's like, come on. I don't want this to sound mean, this just gonna sound how it sound. For me, it's gonna take a lot more for me to believe that that man got the Rona than just a tweet from him, okay? That man is just full of antics, okay? So I don't even believe he got it. If he do, I wish him well, I wish him the best, I hope he gets well. But for me, I don't believe it. And there's a lot of people who are not believing this charade. Kelly Rowland took to her Instagram and she said, um, he, DT, is clearly lying about having COVID. There is a motive. He may even want to see how much it would trend. Something just ain't right. I'm gonna wait and see how this plays out. And then she posted this. She said, I'm just gonna leave this here. October surprise. In American political jargon, an October surprise is a news event deliberately created or timed to influence the outcome of an election, particularly one of the US presidency or sometimes an event occurring spontaneously that has the same effect. And Kelly Rowland said, we'll see what happens. Charlamagne the God took to his Instagram and he said, if you thought Trump saying COVID is 99% harmless was bad. Wait until you hear what he says after surviving COVID. At 74 years old and 244 pounds, if you think he bragged about beating Hillary, man, listen. And on The Breakfast Club today, Charlamagne the God and DJ Envy had a pretty interesting take on this. Check this out. So we're asking, do you think it's real? Do you think it's a hoax? Do you think he really has the Uh, I, I don't believe it. Uh, sadly, Donald Trump would have to pass away from Corona. That's to make me believe he had COVID. Uh, God forbid that happens because I don't wish death on anyone, but I think this is all a stunt. I feel this is just his way to change the headlines in regards to not condemning white supremacy. This gives him a reason to not campaign for 14 days, stay out of the press, keep the bad headlines down, not show up for the next debate. Um, and, I, and, I, and I think this could all be a stunt to make one of those value menu vaccines they rushing out look safe. He'll take it on national TV, all of a sudden be well, and give the illusion to the American public that the vaccine is safe. He'll look like a hero because he's one of the first to try it. Millions of people line up to get it, and boom! Microchip implants for all of y'all. You know, and I've been thinking about this all morning long, and I have to agree with you a little bit. Not the microchips part, but the part where I don't necessarily believe he has it. But think about it. Let's say he says he has it. He goes on national television. He acts like he takes the vaccine. He gets healed. He's okay. And now 
he looks like the hero. He looks like the guy, hey, I'm the yeah. one that rushed this vaccine. I'm the one that got this vaccine pushed through. You need to vote for me because I care more about you than Joe Biden. So, yes, I think it's a hoax. I don't necessarily think he has coronavirus. All right, so y'all see that. Listen, I agree with DJ Envy and Charlamagne the guy. All of this is very convenient after all of the backlash when he would not denounce the prom boys. The fact that he was asked to deny white supremacists and he told them to stand back and stand by, I just can't even believe there's much debate after that. He said what he said, he meant what he said. So I guess all of us will be standing back and standing by to see if he even got the COVID. It is what it is. Moving forward, did y'all watch Rihanna's Savage X Fenty on Amazon Prime? Savage X Fenty Volume 2, it was everything. Oh my God, everybody just looked so good. I was like, I wanna wear something. I wanna feel and look good. So I ordered me some Savage X Fenty and I can't wait to put it on. If y'all didn't know, after they released the Savage X Fenty show on Amazon Prime, they released the clothes on Amazon Prime. Very smart, Riri, very smart. Rihanna is so creative. I'm telling y'all, gotta watch it. There were so many celebrities. Of course, Rihanna herself, Bella Hadid, Lizzo, Normani, Demi Moore. Y'all know she like 57 years old, okay? Looking all of 27. Rosalia, Willow Smith, Paris Hilton, Ella Mae Miguel, Chica, Big Sean, Christian Combs. That's P. Diddy's son, and he was on his Instagram showing a throwback picture where he was 11 years old, and he said he asked Rihanna for her phone number. And now 11 years later, they're working together with Savage X Fenty. What a full circle moment. There was a lot of people in this Savage X Fenty fashion show, y'all. And one of my faves, comedian Lunel. Y'all know we YouTube sisters, okay? Make sure y'all follow Lunel's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Y'all, she was looking all kind of good in her Savage X Fenty. Shout out to Lunel. If y'all haven't watched it, go on Amazon Prime and watch Savage X Fenty fashion show. Okay, so moving on, let's talk about Miss Nicki Minaj. It sounds like congratulations are in order. Allegedly, I guess it hasn't been officially confirmed, but everyone is saying that Nicki Minaj has had her baby. If that's true, congratulations to her. Now, y'all know how Nicki Minaj and Wendy Williams have a beef. They don't like each other. Well, Nicki Minaj got a congratulations from Wendy Williams today on the show. And with that congratulations, y'all know Wendy Williams is always throwing some shade. And she said that Nicki Minaj is no legend and the barbs are pissed. And Cardi is a legend to some people, but she's not legendary yet. Mm -hmm. Once you put out more music, and we're here for it, we'll wait for you. She had the baby. Cardi? No, uh, no Nikki, oh, had, Nikki. Nikki had a baby. Nikki had the baby. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yesterday. So congratulations to Nikki. Mm -hmm. She too is not a legend. Mm -hmm. You know, not the way we think of status. And I feel bad for these girls. You know, Salt and Pepper never have to put out music. Like they, they paid their dues and they did their thing. Okay, so y'all see that. Now y'all know that Wendy Williams cannot talk about Nicki Minaj without getting hit by the barbs. But she did it anyway. That's Wendy. And if I'm completely honest, I understand what Wendy Williams is trying to say. When we say legend, we think of like Michael Jackson, Aretha Franklin, people like that. I'm not saying that Nicki Minaj is not a legend. I'm just saying it depends on who you ask. She's definitely legendary. Nicki is hands down one of the best lyricists, period. But is she a legend? That's up for a debate. But I know y'all caught how Wendy Williams said that Cardi B was legendary, but she didn't say that about Nicki because they don't like each other. The beef continues, I guess. Now, speaking of Wendy Williams, girl, now you know. Uh, she got a lot more to worry about than the barbs. The barbs are not the only ones she got to worry about. I'm just saying. Hey, DJ Booth. And I'm just going to say it again. Wendy Williams, what did you do to DJ Booth? Because I'm going to find out. I had heard some stuff, but I'm not repeating what I had heard. But Wendy, what did you do to Booth? You need to make it right. Because girl, girl, Wendy Williams, you better make it right with Booth. I'm just saying. I had heard. I'm just saying. Wendy, what did you do to Booth? I'm just saying. But anyways, y'all, let's talk about this weekend, okay? I'm going out this weekend. I'm gonna have me some fun. And I'm gonna be turning up to Megan Thee Stallion's new song with Young Thug. Last night, she released a new song called Don't Stop featuring Young Thug. And it was everything to me, y'all. It was the visuals for me, okay? I love the song, but you know, we love a good visual. It had an Alice in Wonderland theme. If y'all haven't watched it, go watch that. I'm going out tonight, okay? I'm gonna put me something cute on. I'm going out tonight, and I'm gonna be bumping Megan Thee Stallion, Don't Stop. I'm just saying. 
But all right, y'all, I'm done with this, and I want to know what y'all think. What do y'all think about all of this? Do you believe that Donald Trump has the Rona? And what do you think about Rihanna Savage X Fenty show on Amazon Prime? And what do y'all think about Megan Thee Stallion's new song featuring Young Thug? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm going to catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.